La 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 la, we are live. Uh, let me just set this up. Oh my gosh, my house is a mess at the back. Okay, people. A bit delayed this morning. <laughs> oh, where's my mic? I was making my celery juice as usual. So a little bit a little bit late. But yes, good morning everybody. Cheers, cheers. This is the celery juice. You can see the green stuff. Oh, oh yummy. Good morning, Blue Mini. Good morning. Oh. So terrible. make myself a cup of coffee in a minute. Hi, Shella. Oh, it's 9 p.m. <laughs> You're going to sleep right after this, is it? Okay. Oh, I'm going to finish this. This is terrible. Oh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Oh, use a straw so it didn't go over my taste, but mm, I'll try that next time. Get myself one of those metal straws and uh, gulp it down, like sip it down. Mm -hmm. Oh, today's not so bad because I bought fresh celery uh, sticks yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, two days ago. And it was big and juicy and thick, big, juicy and thick. Anyway, <laughs> morning, Becky. Morning, Erica. Morning. Lo oh, morning, Lolly. Mabel, morning. So today we are going to do a, a, a skincare live stream. It is 9 a.m. in Singapore. I've washed my face. It's so clean. I'm going to, you know, just get ready with you guys and chit chat. I'm going to put my mask. I've got all my stuff right here. Let me show you. Like all the stuff that I'm going to do. And I've got a mask. We're going to try this mask. So if you guys are wherever, early morning, 6 a.m., you can grab your stuff, sit down together, see me put my face mask. We'll have a chit chat. We'll talk about, we'll talk about the remaining <laughs> unpopular luxury opinions which was such a fail from last Wednesday because we were chatting, 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 and we really got through like a couple of them. Yeah, so we'll have like a skincare, get ready with me, unpopular opinions, live stream. How about that? <laughs> but in the meantime, let me finish my super yummy juice. It's 9 p.m. where some of you are... Mm. My goodness. I told you guys, right? When I drank too much of this um, celery juice, I was drinking it every day. My salt, like my salt, <laughs> my salt, my sweat was so salty, okay? Like when I was working out, I had like salty, salty sweat. It was so strange. But I said, you know, I told you that um, apparently if you drink too much celery juice, you might, you, you get like high sodium content. Mm. But let me tell you, my skin after drinking so much celery juice is really, is really good. Like I, I, I think... It's doing something to the skin, even my hair and everything. So, yeah. Just that I don't want to drink it every day. I feel like it might not be really good for the high blood pressure. <laughs> that I have high blood pressure. All right. So, before we start, I'm going to show you the mask that I want to use. 
I got my I mean today I feel a little dry. Yesterday I was going really strong with one of the exfolants. I am going to use Oh really, Jella, I broke you out. Huh. Interesting. Okay. All right, I'm gonna look at this mask. Isn't it wait, let me just make sure it focuses. It's a Japanese mask that is in this like weird I don't know what I don't know what is this, like a packet. So cool, right? It's it's almost like curdled milk or like yogurt kind of texture. It's a Kina rice pack. And it's okay, so they have an English translation. It says here, rice pack for bumpy pores. <laughs> Dry skin tends to have uneven and bumpy pores. So this has four kinds of rice derived serum. Rice fermented liquid, rice bran oil, rice ceramides, and rice bran extract to even and smooth out the skin. So you're supposed to put it all over your face and leave it there and then wash it off. So I've got a little washcloth right here. So I thought I'll do like a like a mask. I've got another mask here as well. This is uh, from Sukin. You can get this from... Where did I get this from? I got this from... This is Australia. This is an Australian brand. Where did I get this from? Guardian? I think Guardian. Okay, hydrating facial mask. So it's just like a cream-based one. I kind of like this. You know, it's just one of those wash... Uh, wash mask. So, which, which one should I use? Which one should I use? Oh, should I use this one with you guys, or should I use the Sukin one? Vote, 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 vote. Japanese or Sukin? Japanese or Sukin? Which one do you guys want to see? I bought this from Tokyo. Tokyo Hands. Morning, Sulin. Morning, Winnie. This one, the rice one. Japanese. Sukin or Japanese? All right. What do we? Aust Japanese or Australian? Japanese, Australian. <laughs> Japanese, Australian. <laughs> we're getting Japanese. Okay, we're getting the Japanese. Morning, morning. I'm sold on bumpy pores. <laughs> yeah, I know my nose and all. Goodness. All right. Japanese. Okay, Japanese it is. So it's kind of weird. Look, it is like a... It's not really environmentally friendly. It's got a little cap. And then we're going to squeeze it out. This might be a little... A little look. Oh! It's a generous amount. I don't know if that's generous. I usually use a bit more. And then you just spread it. It's, it's like yogurt kind of texture and it doesn't yeah it wasn't a con yeah it's like it's like curdled milk okay so but it's really hydrating really after i put this for about it says five minutes at the back but i put it for like 10 minutes watch my tv yeah it's goopy it's really goopy it's like you know see it's like goopy. I usually put a little bit more at night. Look. It's very creamy, so I think that'll do. <laughs> no scent. There's no smell. There's no fragrance. It actually is very comfortable. It feels feels very milky and um, almost sticky, but yeah, it feels very hydrating actually. So this is like a packet like that. Apparently, this is very popular, but in Japan, it's very cheap. Okay, in Singapore, this was like twenty over dollars. Though I only used like like squeezed out a little bit. I did squeeze out a lot, like two two squeezes. And um yeah, I could spread it all over my face. Don't have to go too much, right? Don't have to put like a thick layer, even though it says here. Avoid uh, I mean apply a generous amount, but it was such a waste, right? So no. 
a little bit will do. So let's put that for, let's put my timer. Okay, five minutes. All right. Hello from Arizona. <laughs> no scent. Yeah, no scent. It can exfoliate. It doesn't have any beads. To be honest, it doesn't have any beads. It's really like, just imagine curdled milk that is a bit more sticky, right? It's, it feels like that. So nice. Really hydrating. Oh, I got some on my hair. Really hydrating. So anyway, oh, let me get my list of things, which is... List of unpopular opinions. <laughs> so last, uh, what day was it? Wednesday when we were chatting, 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 chatting. We were talking about uh, what? What was the last unpopular opinion that I said? Oh, no more cartoon characters. Not a shopping list. A list of all the things that I wanted to tell you guys about what I don't. Well. Just basically unpopular, right? So last Wednesday, we said, um, I feel cartoon collections should, with co cartoon collaborations with luxury houses should stop. That was one opinion. Then we also talked about, what was the other one? Do you guys remember? We said two things. I can't remember the other one. But anyway, today I've got another one, which... I I feel a little bit it's like Gucci. It's like it's like how I feel about Gucci. I said that Gucci is, you know, it, it, it Gucci is kind of like our current situation. You know, it went all the way up and then slowly it plateaued and then it will go down. I feel like personally Gucci is on the downtrend. Just that it's, you know, that the whole hype about it just didn't last. So I feel the kind of opposite. Here's the one about Prada. I'm, I, I don't know. I feel like Prada is really boring and it's nothing interesting. You know, the brand's so, 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 so flat. You know, there's nothing. When I go into a Prada shop, like I went into a Prada shop in Changi. When I was still traveling, maybe a month ago, nothing in the Prada line excites me. They tried to do patterns about a year and a half ago, you know, having some of those cartoony patterns on it. Um, it didn't look nice. And I don't know, I just, it's one of those brands that I feel needs a major revamp. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do y'all think? Do you think so? I have a pro I, I had a Prada bag, <laughs> but yeah, the quality really. But a lot of people said the quality is good. I, I'm not sure about the quality. I, what is that material that they really always push? Safiano Safiano leather. I'm not a fan of Safiano leather. I personally prefer smooth leather. Safiano leather, obviously, it's like the caviar leather and all. It's very uh, high, you know, it's it's um, more durable. But I just don't like the feeling of it. I just don't like the plasticky look of Safiano leather. But yeah, don't you just feel like the bags are... The, I'm just talking about bags, okay? I'm not, you know, when I... I'm just going to move it down a little bit. As a luxury lover, I'm still a more of a bag lover. You know, luxury has jewelry slgs clothing and all but i'm more a handbag more of a slg kind of person i'm not talking about their clothes so my comments are nothing to do with their clothes their clothes could be fabulous i'm just talking about their bags i don't know don't you think uh, i mean that's, this is my personal opinion what do you guys think about prada yeah nylon yeah Aaron, you're mean. Aaron said, I like Prada soft leather, not the hard ones. Can I agree? I categorize them with coach. No! <laughs> no, Prada's kind of like the Chloe line, you know, like that level. Chloe, 
uh, that line. Yeah. I had the Prada Cut hair bag, which I actually really like. I found that to me, the Prada Cut hair bag was something very different from Prada. It was so rock and roll, so edgy and all. Because when I think about Prada, I think about their double tote bag, which is very structured, very plain, nothing, you know, nothing interesting, nothing different. And so my my opinion, maybe maybe people like it, you know, like how people love Celine for the clean look and all. With Prada, there is a look. They have a look, you know, they have this one Prada look. But I personally think they need a major revamp. They just need, they need, they need a change. But they don't need a change like Gucci. Okay, don't go Gucci's kind of direction where they just went trendy. No, don't do that. Trendy, awkward, weird. Just want to get the 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 pictures and all because that doesn't last. They need like a refresh of the look. And apparently, a, they have a new correct. Uh, creative director coming in like Simone 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 Ralph or what's his name Ralph or something Ralph Simons uh, something like that so he was the creative director for Dior and YSL or a few things so hopefully he would modernize the look yeah it, it, I don't know I just every time I go into a Prada store I just don't get excited I don't get inspired you know whereas when i go into the gucci got I, gucci shop i get really overwhelmed like oh what oh what's that oh that, that's not the kind of shock factor you want when you go inside a, a chanel store you feel like wow so beautiful wow this is interesting you know you just you get inspired but when I go, I was like, nylon bag and then when they came out with when lb came out with the multi pochette they copied it you know that right they copied the same the same, same, but different in their nylon version. Like, so sad. You had to copy, okay? You know, uh, you need a major refresh. That's how I feel about Prada. I hope whoever loves Prada right here. <laughs> Miss Yu says, Prada seems to be like a brand for newbies who just want to hold a branded bag. No! <laughs> you know, it, it, get more modern. Yeah, classy, modern lady look. Prada is only worth buying at the outlets. Mm, that's another thing, right? So you can buy Prada at the outlets. But you, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Guys, do you know a few years ago, okay, we divert, we're, we're diverting, we're diverting off the highway. <laughs> there was this video made by, I don't know which Canadian store okay be like it too you're here hi babe i'm doing a mask i've still got another five minutes it's a skincare live stream so if any of you are really bored you can do your skincare with me right now like we're having a chit chat face mask if you're wondering what face mask i'm using i'm using this i'll put if i can find the link to whatever i'm using today i'll put it in the live stream so if i can find this online i'll put it as well it's kind of nice um i'll say oh yeah there was this video, uh, like a news reporter from Canada a few years ago, and they were comparing luxury. No, they were comparing buys from outlets, and they were comparing buys from the retail store. So they they did kind of like debunked buying items from the retail. Uh, from the outlets they say you know you get such good deals at the outlets 90 percent off for kate spade and coach and all but they debunked it you know they said that the stuff that you get at outlets are actually made for outlets and they bought so they had like you know those mystery shoppers or those undercover shoppers they went to the coach no the kate spade outlet they bought a few things from the Kate Spade retail. No, no, sorry. They went to the Kate Spade retail store, like in Saks or something. They bought it there. They bought a few um, wallets and handbags. Then they went to the outlet to look for the exact handbag and they couldn't find it, but they found something similar or, or pretty much like 99% similar. And 
they got an expert re like reviewer of items and they took the two bags and she could tell which is made for the outlet and which is made for the retail. Very, very little details, you know. For example, Kate Spade's wallet uh, at the retail, maybe they're, I don't know, let's say like... Um, Say like, for example, like, okay, this, this embossing, let's say this was Kate Spade. At the retail, it was maybe made of, it was uh, glued on with metal, you know, like a proper embossed, not embossed, um, a plate that said Kate Spade, right? Small alphabets. But in the, re in the outlet, in the factory outlets, it is just printed on Kate Spade. So little things like that. And then the stitching was different. Maybe the tanks was different. Just But it's so... It's minor for people who are not used to looking at it. But if you were to say, this is a Kate Spade wallet, they'll look, oh, this is bought in a factory outlet. So they were trying to debunk the fact that what you buy at the outlet is not necessarily a good deal. It is actually made for the outlet. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I... I don't really do outlet shopping. Like I don't go, I mean, when we go to some outlets, I'll buy a little bit. But I, I did notice this a few years ago. I was like, how come there are so many things in this outlet that I can't find at the retail store? Or it just looks a bit off. Um, but there are, of course, like some stuff that you find is off season. There is, it's not entirely 100%. But some retailers actually do make things specifically for the outlet and they debunked it for coach they debunked it for kate spade i have seen some gucci things that are made uh for the retail and then they're off season and they were at the outlet but not many you know you would think like you would imagine all the bags going to be discounted no no they probably just throw a few there just to just to throw, you know make you think that it is off season, but honestly, no. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off. I've got this washcloth. I'm gonna little bowl of water in front of me as well. So I've had this on for about ten minutes, and it's so smooth. My gosh, so smooth. a little bowl of water in front of me. Look, I'm so prepared for this skincare live stream. <laughs> and it's a little washcloth. Ooh. Yeah, Winnie says, some coach sends the stuff to the outlets, but some are made for it. Yeah. So yeah, don't get don't get so like excited the stuff that you buy at the outlets. Usually when I go outlets, I'll just buy things that are, you know, things that I would use often, like Nike stuff, um, you know, cheap shoes, cheap socks, cheap t-shirts. But when it comes to the luxury stuff, I try not to get so caught up with the price because then I'll be like, hmm, wait a minute, this doesn't seem right. The tags are really a giveaway. Some of the tags you'd be like, this is made in where and where. It's not made in Italy. It's made somewhere else. And you can just flip the tag and you can tell. And the quality is, some of the stuff, the quality is not that. Even Burberry, I believe Burberry does it as well. When I go there, when I go to the Burberry outlets and I think, oh, I'm going to get a cheap scarf from Burberry. The scarves that they have at the outlets are different from the scarves that you find at the retail. There, it the quality, the cut, the color, even the tags look a little bit different. So I've never bought any Burberry scarves from the outlet. Hi, Di oh, hi, Diana. I remember I was hooked watching all your videos, and with all honesty, I bought my very first. So far, one and only luxury. And it's mini pochette. Oh, isn't it great? Winnie said they'd be putting, yeah, they'll be putting a price tag on the stuff and they'll say $500, 90, no, they put 50 plus 50% 50 off. You're like, what? 75% off? Then it'd be so cheap and you'd be like, oh, 
I mean, when I was much younger, yeah, but now. Okay. Oh my gosh, my skin feels so good. I've been really loving putting masks now, like all these kind of masks, whatever. Just cheap ones, nothing so expensive. So another one that I've been using is a Sukin one. And now we are going to put a bit of, okay, I'm going to put this. This is my, I usually have a toner, but I think that's good enough. Okay, I'm going to put this SK2 Facial Treatment Repair C. It's actually not vitamin C. When I thought repair C, I thought it was vitamin C, but it's not. It's actually concentrated SK2 Essence. So, so nice. Let me just put a bit of that. My my favorite man. Oh, my favorite is Maggie. Hi, babe. Oh, you're here. Made in Italy doesn't mean that it's made in Italy by Italian artisans. It's made in Italy with Chinese migrant workers. Yeah, actually, it's like the situation in Milan and that area, Lombardy. Actually, a lot of, you know, even though it's made in that area, it's actually made by, you know, people who go there to work. And it's yeah, it's really challenging. I love this. Repair C stuff. The two. And it's good. Uh, what's it's it's called repair. No, it's called facial treatment repair C. It's basically the facial treatment essence, but in a concentrated version. So it's like a serum formula. And oh, I feel so good. My face feels really tacky. Oh, 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 I'm gonna show you this. So when I'm really I'm in a rush. For it to absorb into my skin, I got all these fans like this. Get it, get it in, get it in. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't this cute? I just did my favorites video yesterday. I filmed it. And uh, this is in my favorite. So I think that video should go up on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm trying to, I've got a little bit more to edit. And then that video will go up on Tuesday. Oh, so good. I love it. Hi, Annie. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Kiana Nad Blue Mini 525 is asking, Kiana Nadishiko Kiana Rice Pack, is that the mask that I've had on? Girl, let me check. It just says Kiana Rice Pack. Rice Pack for Bumpy Pores. I don't know. It looks like this. I bought this at Tokyo Hands in Singapore. and um, But I think you can get it online. Much cheaper. I, if I can find it online, I will look for it. But it's nice. Feels really, really very hydrating. It has everything that I love. Everything. Rice. So SK2 is also a rice essence right it's made from the rice so this is four types of rice fermented rice liquid rice bran oil rice ceramides and rice bran extracts rice <laughs> love this stuff i wish it wasn't so expensive Ying Ling Li is asking me, you should use the small battery operated fan. Yeah, it's charging. No more battery. <laughs> but I've got the aircon on, so. Woo. Shopping Girl 125. Are you re re reunited? Da, 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 da. Who knows that song? Am I telling my age? <laughs> Shopping Girl 125. Are you reunited with your hubby? My hubby? You talking about my hubby? No, no, I'm not. I'm still stuck in a different country, and um, Singapore. Oh, are we talking about the situation? <laughs> Ban people who are talking about the situation. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, my husband is. So no, Singapore currently now, where I am, is uh, has 
implemented even more, even stricter, even stricter, is that right? Is that grammatically correct? Even strict, more strict, stricter rules. Okay, <laughs> I'm at home too much. Stricter rules uh, since uh, Friday. So on Friday, they implemented um, some restrictions to non-essential services. So only essential services can continue to work. And uh, if you are non-essential service, you need to be working from home, stay home more. Um, now, even Singapore is saying that if you come into Singapore, you will be quarantined in the facility. Mm, what else? Uh, no gatherings around more than 10 people. So a lot of shops on, fri on Friday after hear hearing the Prime Minister's speech, they're trying to interpret whether they are essential service or not essential service. And because of that, a lot of retailers are, you know, interpreting the government's speech that they are a non-essential service. Beca and because of that, a lot of them are going to be closing on Monday. So up till Friday or up till today, a lot of shops are still open. You can go shopping. You know, like I'm going to go out today. I have to buy my sunblock. I have to. I, this is like probably got like two days left. This is an SPF 25. People, if you're at home, you still need to use sunblock, okay? Because there's sun coming through the window. Just use a light one. But yeah, I I have, um, I, need, I need to buy some stuff today. So I think, but tomorrow, a lot of the shops are going to be closed. Oh, who's that guy that walks around? <laughs> He's my housemate. I live in a rented place. This is rented. This is not my place. Though the furniture is ours. Just that this condo is not ours. And uh, yeah, putting some lip balm. Maggie's asking, is the government giving money to those who have closed? In Singapore, um, there is some, I think some financial aid for companies, for retailers, for, you know, and then there are some financial aid for the people. In Malaysia, there's only financial aid for the people below a certain income but there are no assistance stated for companies. There is a mor moratorium in Malaysia that all loans, housing loans, retail loans are going to be stopped for six months. So that gives some of the companies who are you know, renting house and renting property, uh, taking a loan for a property, or if you are, like for me, I have a loan for a house, I have a moratorium for six months that I don't need to pay my installments. So is that a good thing? You know, not really, because in the long run, your interest will calculate, but it's only six months. So anyway, it just helped with cash flow. But no, we're not getting money. Not every single family is getting money. I'm not getting money. Nobody's not, if you're below a certain income, like the low income, yeah, you get some aid, but it's really not a lot. Okay. Cannot compare to what the amount of money that you lose closing your shop for six weeks or more. Which shop am I going out today, Chala? I am going down to Orchard and I'm going to buy this Fankel sunblock. I'll, I'll be putting it on shortly and you can see I love that sunblock. It's so nice. Feels like a moisturizer and it's only 25%. Eh, 25%. <laughs> it's only to SBF 25. Really nice. So yeah, the question is, um, have I reunited with my husband? And no, I don't think I'll be seeing him until um, maybe end of the month, which is the longest I've ever been away from home. Because normally the longest I've been away from home is like maybe three weeks at most. And even that, no, maybe two, two and a half weeks. But now I have been away for three weeks. And... Malaysia hasn't said whether they are going to close, I mean, open up yet. Singapore has already said they're closing until the start of May. So it's going to be at least a few more weeks. Yeah. Sucks. Sucks. I know. It's really difficult. But thank God for technology. 
Thank God for WhatsApp, FaceTime, and all that. Yeah, it's hard because my parents are also home, and you know, I I can't get back. If I go home now, um, I'm going to be quarantined in a quarantine center, which is also bad. So what's the point of going back, right? At at this time. And actually, I tried to go back like last. Thursday, I tried to look for a flight. I said, you know what? Never mind. Get quarantined. But there were no more flights. All the flights going into Malaysia were stopped. A lot of the planes have been grounded. So if you go to the airport now, actually, a lot of the planes are not flying. So there were no flights into Malaysia last week. Uh, I checked Air Asia. I checked Jetstar. I checked. I checked. Um, Singapore Airlines, so I couldn't actually fly back into KL. I could have taken a bus into K into Malaysia through Singapore through Johor, but Malaysia has stopped all interstate travel. So even if I get into Johor, I can't get from Johor and take a drive across the country to Selangor because you are not allowed to cross the state lines. Ah, so it's, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, all right, I'm stuck here, and it's not fun, but you know, we've got live streams, I'm keeping busy, keeping busy with the exercise and stuff like that. Yeah, Sulin says, wear a mask when I go out today, yeah, 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 I will, I will. Uh, anyway, we're not supposed to talk about the situation. But you know what? I'm just checking you guys. Are you all doing okay? <laughs> How is everybody doing since our last live stream? How are you, Maggie, Chella, Sulin, Jesse, Annie? Um, where are you? Me like it too. Mel, where are you? All of you. How are you? Come on, let me know. How are you guys doing? How are you all doing? I got to stop saying how are you guys doing. It's a bad habit. Good, Man Leong, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this must be really good. Yeah, the mask, right? Try not to go out, then you don't have to wear it. Maggie is trying to sew. Wow, Maggie, that's really good. You're trying to make masks for the homeless. How? You, you just buy cloth and you just sew like strings on it? I like it too. I'm good here in LA. It's not too bad. Chella hanging in there. Had a had a low grade fever. Ah, did you go? In, no, if you can, don't go to see the doctor. <laughs> but are you monitoring it, Chella? Been work. Been still working. Gloomini still working. Sulin so says, you know, we are in essential services, so jobs can be kept. That's good. Me like it too. Husband is still working. Only concern. Doreen thought, who is that guy in your house? He's my housemate. So this place is a rented unit. Um, and he's my housemate. He's actually, he's actually my uh, boss's nephew. <laughs> a young boy, young boy, uh, young boy. This, you know, because of me, he has really good food to eat, okay? <laughs> Every day, I'm making orange juice. You know, I'm, I'm squeezing grapefruit mixed with orange juice and celery and ginger, you know, the concoction of vitamins. And I always made an extra cup for him. And, you know, whatever lah. It's good to live with women, you know, because <laughs> we share our stuff. So I'm like, hey, you want juice? Ah? You want juice? Okay, I make for you juice, you know? You want orange? You want apple? <laughs> so the guy is getting fed very well, okay? The auntie doesn't have to worry. <laughs> the auntie's like, are you wearing masks? Are you cooking? Oh, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Taking care of your nephew, don't worry. <laughs> uh, like the big chee yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean the house. No, vacuum the floor. 
Jesse says, you drank too much frothy coffee and got a stomach ache, but I'm feeling great today. Oh, got to swap to tea. Actually, man, I was, hang on, give me a minute. I was going to make a cup of coffee. Oh my gosh, let me just show you this. This brand, hope that's not too loud. Chi Hop, Chick Hop, Chick Hop Coffee. Three in one, less sugar. Oh, I love this coffee. <laughs> So creamy, so good. This is made in, it's Malaysian. <laughs> I didn't know that. Manufactured and made in Malaysia. I bought this in Singapore. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of my Malaysian people. This is good coffee. <laughs> I don't drink instant coffee so often, but this is good. Okay, just give me a moment. I will be right back. One second, let's get hot water. so good oh my goodness oh my goodness so good i love it a friend of mine from kl bought it and gave it to me and she gave me the chi hub cappuccino version oh my gosh so good this is like the basic you know coffee but the chi hub cappuccino version how did you do it? When you pour the hot water, it will rise and the top layer would be this frothy, creamy portion of the coffee. And it's a mix. So good. It's like the top layer is almost like a instant cappuccino. There was like some limited edition version. Right? They don't have it. I couldn't find it. Oh my gosh, so good. People, try this brand. Chi Hop, Chi Hop. No, no, sorry, sorry. Chick Hop, Chick Hop, Chick, Chick Hop. Malaysian, Malaysian. <laughs> I think I'm very, con I'm very, um, what do you call the people that have two, two countries? You know, they're very, con no, it's not conflicted. It's um, con not confused. You know, like sometimes I feel Singaporean and sometimes I feel Malaysian. <laughs> I'm very, what's the word? Porn. <laughs> I'm like, sometimes Singapore, oh, Singapore's so good. And so I'm like, oh, Malaysia's so good. <laughs> I've got identity crisis. Thank you, Annie. I thank you. I've got identity crisis. <laughs> I've lived in Singapore so long. I'm not sure what am I anymore. Taxi drivers tell me I'm Singaporean. <laughs> Malaysian people tell me I'm Malaysian. <laughs> Singaporean people tell me I'm Malaysian. <laughs> Malaysian people tell me I'm Singaporean. I'm like, I don't know. What am I? <laughs> Binational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so anyway, back to the coffee. It's awesome. <laughs> so good. Oh, found what do you what do you find on Amazon? Did you find this? Did you find this on Amazon? I I, I got a few more. Oh. This getting up, sitting down, getting up, sitting down is quite tiring. <laughs> Let me squat. I bought two more, okay? I bought two more of this from Tokyo Hands. So expensive, people. $20. $20. Ah! Can definitely get it online for cheaper. Okay, 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 okay. Let me tell you this one. This red one, I haven't tried it. I've tried that one and that, that one's good. Wada Wahada Bisen Gokujo Fermented Sake Yogurt. Oh my gosh. Just listen to that. Go, 
Kugo fermented, fermented, sake, yogurt, face mask. Listen to this. Sake and yogurt. Double fermentation makes moist and transparent skin. Using sake yeast extract from traditional Japanese sake brewery founded in 1822. 1822. Hundreds of years old. Oh wait, it's not a mask. Oh, it's a face wash. I bought wrong one. <laughs> it's a face wash. Dang, I bought the wrong one. Oh, but anyway, it still says it's good. Okay. This is a face mask. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is also the same. Rice vinegar fermented extract from Kyoto. Fixes face texture and moisturize the skin. Six ingredients derived from Japanese rice makes moist and smooth skin. Okinawa sea clay removes dirt from pores and brightens the skin. Sold! <laughs> Sold! <laughs> anyway, I love Tokyo hands. I never knew there were so many interesting things at Tokyo Hands. If we uh, the people that don't know what Tokyo Hands is, it's a major is Tokyo Hands. Oh, love it. Okay, okay. I think the <laughs> this has fermented on my skin for quite a while. Let's put some moisturizer. <laughs> I'm using this moisturizer, Dr. Scramat Christine. Wait, Dr. Matt Christine Scramat. Hydra Maximum Day Cream. That's because I go to I go for a facial. I started to go for facials this year. And she sells this. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Today's topic is bumpy pores and sea clay. <laughs> oh. I kind of like this moisturizer. Has a bit of fragrance, but I haven't found a really good moisturizer for my skin yet. I tried to use the Tatcha water cream moisturizer. I find it is not hydrating enough. I feel like, I don't know, it's just, yeah, not good enough. Not good enough. But I kind of like this. This is one of those that you can only get at the spa. Uh, not spa, um, those saloons. It's not really sold at Sephora and all. Kind of nice. I, I think I linked, I think I managed to link it down below. Really good. All right, people, the next thing we're going to do is the refa. <laughs> we got to do this, you know, every morning or every night. So good. Just like massage really lightly. I have been, I have been enjoying doing this every morning. No, no, sorry, and every night. But in the morning is good as well. Just roll the face. Oh, so good. Ugh. Apparently, if you have like, you know, like this, you see, this laugh lines are mine. It's because the skin is sagging. You're getting old, collagen's gone. So people who get like this fold, the labular little fold, I don't know what. You can actually do a facelift. It'll go away. <laughs> I need a facelift, okay? So then you will take 10 years off your face, right? Because now when you're old, lack of collagen, it sinks and then you get this line, right? Anyway, so apparently the Rifa will train the muscle to lift up. So you're supposed to do this every day. For a little bit, give your face a massage, do a bit of lymphatic drainage, you know, press it out, rub around the eyes. Oh, yeah, I need a tread lift, babe. Yeah, shall I need a tread lift? Like, like, see, I'm gonna put my reefer down, my age. 
10 years younger. <laughs> 10 years younger. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll Botox my face. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I have that rose. I have this as well. I have the jade roller, like this thing. I guess it works the same. But this has that pinching, pinching, see? You can pinch the skin up. And you can even use it down your neck, like this. And then even here, because we have we have like the limb, limb, limb nodes around like here. So you can also roll here for the chest, right? And then down the neck, at the back of the neck, and even onto the head. So this, I don't know if I can show you, see? It's, it's, it rolls, it rolls, it rolls, right? Mm. Does it work? I, I've been doing it for the past, uh, on and off, huh? on and off for about a year. Do you think my face looks slimmer? <laughs> okay, 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 I'm not gonna... <laughs> when I say I don't want to do the duck face... <laughs> I feel like doing it. Okay. Here. This part. I'm not squeezing my face. I'm just not trying. I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> Looks the same. <laughs> Doesn't it look a little dodgy? Dodgy. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like it. I'm not doing it for the slimming, you know, the slimming effect, but I feel like it does give the face a good massage. You know, it's kind of like when you go for a facial and then the 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 facialist will massage your face, they'll press your face, and then you know, press here, press here, press here, press here. I feel like it's it's doing the same thing, except that you know it's in a contraction form form, and then you know, I'm watching TV, I'm just doing this, I'm pressing it. I found a link. Uh, you can check later in this uh, live stream of how to use one of these contraptions. So there was this like picture and how you're supposed to roll around the eyes. So around here, so you can get away the puffiness. Uh, and just roll. Yeah, May, I agree. I don't buy into these gadgets. But since I bought it, I better use it. And I find it's quite relaxing. You know, just relax around the eyes. This Rifa is very expensive. Okay, it's very expensive, but now you can buy all the dupes, like really, really cheap. They work exactly the same for a tenth of the price. And it's just a massage tool, right? Not, It's not going to give you any kind of effect as the same as a laser treatment, of course. No way. But now that we're all stuck at home, you know, it's kind of nice. So I like to do this a little bit around the eyes, press. It's actually really hard. Like you, if you take this and you like dish, hit somebody, you're going to give them a major, major bruise. This thing is really heavy. This is actually solid. So if you put it in the fridge, it's actually very, very nice. Yeah, it's so expensive. Oh my gosh. I bought this during the Sephora sale. Otherwise, no way. Okay, no way. <gasps> but it's nice. So anyway. As we were saying, magic balls, right? We're gonna go on, face and then I like it down the neck. I like to do this, like just press. I don't know if the, I don't know if like the 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 the, the, the dupes, the cheap ones, you can use so much force because I am really pressing it, like pressing it into my neck, and it feels so good. I don't know if the dupes can take so much pressure, whether it will crack. So, wow, that was good. You can see my biceps working, okay? <laughs> that is how much force I am pressing into the sides. You know, when somebody massages your neck right here, feels so good. That's how much force I am pressing. I'm like, Gah. you can do it here. Actually, the, the, the tool that I really want is the new face. It's been going, you know, and 
N U a new face, N U F A C E, new face, the one that has some electric current going through it. But it's very expensive. And anyway, you can't find it in Singapore. You can only get it in overseas. It's like it's even more expensive than this. That is supposed to be really, really good as well. New face. It's like it has light electric current. Oh, oh, so nice. Yeah, it's really relaxing. Okay, let's talk about the next. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the next unpopular opinion. So just now, for the ones that came in a little late, I was kind of saying that I said Prada needs a major revamp. I'm hoping that the new guy that comes in, Raph Simones, will give will give Prada a facelift. <laughs> they need, yeah, they need something to change up whatever you know they're doing. Jesse says, I just started to get facials to help with my pimples. They are worth it. Now I can't go with social distancing. Yeah, my facial place is also shut. It's nice. I mean, I don't know if facials really do anything, you know, just clean and all that. But it's relaxing, you know, it's like a couple of couple of hours for yourself. It's nice. Okay, this next unpopular opinion. And I think it is very, very... Touchy. And I, I'll tell you why I am not a fan of this policy that some luxury houses have. But I'm actually I'm on the fence, but I'm actually more of like, I don't really like it. I'm talking about refunds. Mm. Take a sip of my coffee. Oh my God, so good, people. Jig Hub Coffee. Get it. Oh, so good. Better than Old Town. Not as sweet. Okay, so coming back it, huh? Listen. Don't shoot me until you listen, okay? In okay, there are some luxury houses that offer full refund in cash for items that you buy. And you take it home, you the person takes it home and you, you know, within a month, you can decide whether or not you are going to keep it or return it and you get a full cash refund. I, for me, I am personally not a fan of that policy. Ah, like, don't you want your money back, cat? Are you crazy? I do, but I feel like it causes another issue which is why I feel like instead of giving a full refund, give store credit. I'm speaking from a person that I'm willing to take store credit and I don't want my money back. And let me tell you, okay, let me tell you uh, why. Just listen, just hear me out first, okay? Just hear me out before you shoot me. A full refund of cash means people are more likely to return, more likely to be able to return things, right? So you get person A buying something, taking it home, you know, playing around with it for a month or doing whatever with it and you don't know, right? And then within that month, they return it for a full cash refund. So you got that kind of person A. Now me, I go into the shop and I might buy person A's item which is actually not no longer a new thing. So I feel when people have, when stores have a policy of getting full refund, there is more likely, more a, a higher likelihood that items in the store are returns. And me, as a luxury buyer, I'm more likely to buy a used new item. So, if stores don't give cash refund, I feel, or they do, they give you store credit. I feel people will take the time to think about their purchases before buying because you're not getting your cash back. You're getting a store credit. So, it takes away the ability of somebody to say, ah, oh, just buy first. 
you know, uh, we will play around with it a month and I'll just get, I'll get my cash back. It's okay. But I'm on the other side. It's like, dude, I might be buying your used item. I don't want that. So by doing store credit, the person that may say, oh, don't worry about it. Let me just buy it. You know, I'll take play around with it first. They're more likely to say, wait, do I really want it? Because I can't actually get my cash back. Even though I get store credit, I will think about it. So I feel like this whole luxury full refund thing is, I'm not a fan of it. Just because I don't want to be in a situation where I'm going to buy somebody's refunded item. feel like that's it. The own, I feel the policy for full cash refund should only apply if they are they got a damaged good. Like let's say I bought it, like a week later it breaks down or it broke or something. Then fine, give me my full cash refund because that is a spoiled item. You the shop will most likely not resell it again to the next person. Or if um yeah, most likely if it's a damaged item or something is not right with the item that I thought, you know, something is wrong with it. So I'm from the perspective of don't do full refunds in luxury shops. Chanel doesn't do full refunds. They do store credit. So what happens when, they, when, when that happens? People are more mindful of what they buy at Chanel, right? You don't just go and buy Chanel one week later, you return it and get your cash back, right? But you get store credit. It's kind of like cash back, but it's not really because it's, it's damaged up from your wallet already. And yeah, Singapore does full refund for LV within 30 days. I've done it once and I was so shocked that they gave me cash refund. And I said, I will never do it because I think really hard before I spend my money. If they gave me store credit, I'll be more than happy. But I asked my essay, I said, why do you do cash refund? Does it mean that some of these items that are sitting on the shelf here are items that somebody has used for a month? And I might be buying it. No, no. Okay, anyway, that's my spill on this full refund thing. I'm okay with the full refund of, you know, maybe not the, not the maybe the cheaper stuff if there's such a thing, but there's no such thing. But when it comes to luxury stuff, I, I feel a bit iffy about cash full refunds. Because I don't, I as a buyer don't want to be buying somebody else's used item in the store, which I thought was new. Oh, they do alpha cash refund in 14 days. Not in Singapore. Singapore is only store credit. I know, LV should stop it. I just feel like they shouldn't do that. It makes people become very... And I'm only speaking from a luxury perspective, okay? Because with luxury, I'm the next person that might buy it. I'm not talking about... If I'm in the situation, obviously, it's a different lens. But I'm the one that could be buying that person's used item. You know what I mean? I'm coming from that perspective, which is why I actually don't agree with full cash refunds. I just want to make sure that the person that bought that item really thought through buying that item and don't just buy and try and play and then return it later. Because that could be something that I want and now I'm buying your old stuff at the store. It's very, it's very challenging, right? Just, just that luxury is so expensive, right? I don't want to buy a used new item. <laughs> Shella says Dior and Hermes doesn't accept returns as well. And if they do, they scrutinize it under the microscope. Yeah, they should. They should. Because you could be the next person buying that item, right? They could be putting it back on the shelves, and you don't know. I mean, I, I know most of us are responsible people. Like we will take care of, you know, we buy the item and we just check. It's, oh no, you know, it didn't work out. Fine, fine, fine. But there are people that may not be responsible, right? They they will play around with it. They will use it. They will wear it out. And they're like, oh, nah, it didn't work out. I've used it for a month. Nah, take it back. <laughs> And they don't and, and they don't they they are not penalized by it because they get cash back. Cash. Like, oh my god, you should uh, which is which is why I feel store credit is good, but not as good as, right? So those kind of people, you would not have that situation. You will stop those kind of people from 
you will not stop, you will minimize it. And it's better for people who actually buy for real. Anyway, that's my thought. That's my spill about this full refund policy. I'm, I've only done it once for a very small item. Even that, I thought through and through. I didn't even touch the item. I brought it home, this little item. And I was like, oh, no. And I was, I'll be more than happy to take store credit. But when my essay told me you get a full refund, I was like, are you serious? Why? Why do you do full refunds? And it started to make me think, like, how many of these items sitting here in the store are actually refund items? No! <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. From that moment on, I want to I make sure that everything that I purchase, like I make sure that he when he gives it to me, I want to see the stickers wrapped on it. I would check everything. Cow cow, okay? Yeah, I check everything now because after that experience, I said, You mean people are not people could be returning things like that? Like it's not, it's so easy to return it after even. I was okay with the store credit, but I want to make sure it's perfect, like pristine condition, you know, pristine, no, small little SLG. Yeah. After that, I made sure that everything that he gave to me, I want to see the stickers wrapped on it. You know, it's just warehouse given to me <laughs> because no, I don't want to be in that position to be buying somebody else's used item from the store. <laughs> Which is probably why, I mean, my take, uh -huh, probably why I always hear on YouTube people constantly having to return a new item from the store. I do wonder, you know, like I've heard people say, oh, you know, you, you receive something, you deliver it to you and you say, oh, wait a minute, it looks like, you know, something's off with the bag. And you go through this situation a few times. It makes me wonder whether you guys are actually buying returned items <gasps> ah, no yeah anyway Sulin says it acts as a deterrent yeah if you're talking about um store credit it actually acts as a deterrent for that kind of people that does constant buying using returning and get cash back no no, you're not getting your cash back. Okay, you're getting store credit. <laughs> yeah, that's just awful. Just awful. So it's definitely unpopular because I feel like this opinion is, is very skewed because I know sometimes we make a mistake and maybe we, we, are, the, we, are, on that, we are on that fence that said, I didn't touch it. I didn't use it. I just brought it home. I, I would love my cash back. So if I'm sitting on that fence, I won't know. But I think I will have thought about it really, really religiously. But anyway, that's because we are responsible people, right? We are responsible. We get the item and we don't touch it. We just take it out, take a look, like as if we're in the store, but we don't use it. But I feel there is also a spectrum of people who will probably play around with it, use it, don't do what with it and then return it for full cash. Oh. Ah, used item, new at store. <laughs> Freaks me out. Freaks me out. Fashionably Amy, thank you. Anyway, <laughs> we've got to disturb Fashionably Amy. She says that only LV allows returns within 30 days. Full refund, babe. I'm shocked. Not Chanel, not Dior, which is why I prefer them. LV is always, oh, LV, I always have to check top to bottom every minor thing. Now I know why you check it so, so religiously. I, I, I am so, like, a uh, shocked. Is it shocked? I, not, not shocked, like, flabbergasted by this because all my buying, all my years of buying luxury, I never knew. <laughs> LV offers full refund. I never knew. I, I have to look back at my old receipts because I swear, I swear in Malaysia, there was no such thing as full refund. I, I bet at the bottom of the receipt, do I have any receipts with me right now? 
No, it's all in KL. But like the old receipts at the bottom, it says that no exchange, no refund for whatever, something, something. There's like a little term and condition for the longest time. That's why it's never been the case in Malaysia to return items unless it's defective. But when I came here, apparently this new, this 30-day policy, my essay says it's been around, but I never knew. I, I was like, what? You offer full refund for luxury items in cash? Because you never get that in Chanel. I've never got that in Chanel. Chanel, I've returned. No, I've never even picked it up. I, I, pulled, I, paid, I paid a deposit for a bag and I ended up not taking it. And no, they didn't give me my refund. They gave me store credit. They just said that amount of money gone forever you can use it for another bag which i did but you feel the pinch of spending that money right you feel the pinch and then you know that okay i won't do this again i'll really think about it so yes aaron they offer full cash refund in lv please don't be naughty all of you now the singaporeans know that please don't be naughty and do what i just said don't be the person <laughs> still make a wise decision about buying your luxury things, okay? Even if you get a cash refund. Oh, no. Store credit. I'm okay with store credit. <laughs> Aaron, exactly right. I've, it makes me wonder. Aaron is saying, all these years, I never knew LV offered cash refund too. I always thought it's exchange and credits. Exactly. So, it, it just, I, I felt comforted by that. No exchange no, nothing. Huh? So you don't have the situation of buying somebody's used item. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, I don't know, just flabbergasted. <laughs> but I'm of, I'm, I'm of course, I'm sitting on this side of the fence, right? If I'm sitting on this side of the fence, I may be saying things like, oh, they should just give me a refund because I, I, I never touched the bag. No, I, I think I really think about buying something before I buy something. And I just don't trust people. <laughs> I have trust issues with people, okay? You don't know what people do with a bag when they have it for 30 days. I don't want that bag. <laughs> Jay is here! Oh my god. I did, okay, Jay, I gave you credit for this video. I said that he, Jay Suk Kim, said that this is going to be of, oh, I've been rubbing my face for way too long. Okay, see what I mean? But this is so relaxing. He's the one who asked me to do a skincare video. Oh my gosh, we have not even gotten past my sunblock. <laughs> yeah, 30 days is way too long. I agree. 30 days is way too long. I, I think returns should only for be defective items. When I got my defective, uh, when I got my, um, a few years ago, I bought my Petite Noé, brand new. I love that bag. And I was using it for about a week. And guess what? I think I, I posted a video about it. And then what happened was the buckle, you know, like the, the, there's an initial buckle there. The strap came loose. And it broke like after one week. It just the thread just came undone, and I was it was defective. Okay, so I brought it back to the store in KL, and they didn't give me a refund. You know, it, it was defective, and they didn't give me a refund, but they allowed me to exchange the bag, which actually I was more than happy. But I can imagine, like um, people getting refund. Okay, not but it's defective, right? It's defective. But yeah, but I've used it. I've used it. I don't know what they'll do with the bag, right? I've used the bag for a week. Ugh, it was a defective bag. Anyway, let's put sunblock. Ooh, I love this sunblock. Oh my gosh, Winnie, you got a pochette Matisse. And the zipper was bad. Yeah, you see? People probably zipping it up and down, up and down. Oh. Anyway, people, did you know, did you know that we managed to bully <laughs> Amy into doing live streams? Hands up, 
Hands up because we want Amy to do live stream. <laughs> Is Amy still there? Did she run away? Oh, she's still there. <laughs> we managed to... Okay, no, I don't know he's a bully, but we managed to convince her <laughs> to do live streams and... It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> oh. Bandwidth. Yeah. You know, Singapore has actually the fastest, like the fastest. Um, gosh, I love this sunblock. Okay. If you just use sunblock, you don't use any foundation. This is really good. SPF 25 makes my skin look like. Cinderella <laughs> or Snow White, but the white cast goes away in a second. Yeah. Anyway, Singapore has one of the fastest like bandwidth. I can upload a 40 minute video in like five minutes. It's so fast. It's like it gets processed on YouTube so quickly. When I tried to upload videos while I was in UK, oh my gosh, 24 hours later, it's still uploading. Singapore is so fast. The bandwidth is like one gig or one. It's like crazy fast. But because everybody's at home now, <laughs> it's slowed down. <laughs> Not really. It's still really fast, but it's slowed down a little bit. But can you imagine like places that have really bad bandwidth right now? <laughs> it's, it's bad. Okay, it's bad. Yeah. So in Japan, my, up, my upload speed is like, you press, you press, Upload video, select video. Before you can click and take a glass of water, it's uploaded. Like, oh, it's still so fast. <laughs> That's crazy fast. Malaysia is, yeah, it's okay. You know, within half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, depending on size of the video. Singapore, <laughs> click, click. Ah, it's done. <laughs> Crazy fast, okay, crazy fast. But now I can finish my cup of coffee, then it'll be done. So that shows how many people are using the bandwidth. <laughs> but it's still fast. So I can imagine, babe, it's so slow now. And like my brother in, uh, uh, no, my father in KL, he's complaining. He's like, oh, it's a little slow. I'm like, yes, but it's still better than some places. Because I know some people are trying to upload videos and they're from the UK. Oh my gosh, it's probably not even 3G. It's like 2G or something. So bad. So bad, so bad. Look at this. Look at this sunblock. Look at this sunblock. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Fankel. Fankel. Sensitive skincare sun guard SPF 25. Winnie says, been uploading a video for one and a half hours. Yeah, it's slow. So slow. Love, Misa. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh. So nice to see everybody still here. Okay. What shall we do now? We should put some foundation. <laughs> I don't normally take so long to get ready. Let's put some foundation. This. La Mer. La Mer. I love it, okay? It's really good. <laughs> and I'm really stingy. <laughs> I'm like, let me show you how much I use. Okay, let me show you how much I use. Like, 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 like this. I'm, fa I'm fancy. Fancy. <laughs> La Mer Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. SPF 20. Ivory. Let me show you how, <laughs> how stingy I am because this stuff is bougie. <laughs> That's it. That's going to cover my whole face and my neck. <laughs> stuff is expensive. Okay. I may like my luxury stuff, but I'm really stingy. You know, it's supposed to last me like 10 years. <laughs> my Hello Kitty mirror that I got from eBay. Oh my gosh. I wanna have I wanna have I wanna have Amy's skin. 
<laughs> She's got porcelain, poreless skin. It's all the organic stuff that you're using, babe. Oh my, I need foundation, man. Look at those pores. Ugh, craters. <laughs> I have a lot of big pores here because when I was young, um, in my teenage years, I have I had very, very, very bad acne. So you can see my old acne stars, scars are all here, like here. <laughs> this. So if you have like really bad skin when you're a teenager, then you use the wrong products like apricot, St. Ives apricot scrub. You think you're scrubbing your face away. You end up with really bad skin when you're old. But Makeup. See? Just like a little squeeze. My whole face is covered already, okay? This foundation is freaking good. No! Now, anyway, porcelain. Porcelain skin. Amy has porcelain skin. We love Amy's skin. Every time I'm looking at, watching your videos, like, what do you eat? <laughs> Where are the pores? <laughs> But yeah, if you have acne, like, like I had acne when I was young and all the kind of, you know, weird chemicals that doctors give you, talking like 20 years ago that they literally just destroy your skin. So when you grow up, the skin just loses its texture. Um, you get you no know, pores and it's just, yeah, you just literally no longer have that baby bum skin. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I live with it. I'm okay. That's what primer is, right? <laughs> Cement the face. Look, I've wasted so much. <laughs> no, waste nothing. That's like $20. <laughs> uh, but really, one tiny little pump, one tiny little pump is so good. It's really stingy with it. Done. Let's put some powder. Uh, oh, 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 okay. So one of the bad things that we want to talk about. <laughs> so we said refunds. I'm oh I'm I'm really I don't know. I I just feel like luxury houses need to really relook really at how they do refunds. Uh, I don't know. I just I'm I, because I'm sitting on the other side of the fence, right? So worried I'll get somebody's used thing, which is why I'm like, nah. Okay, let's talk about, oh, let's talk about some other brands like LV, Prada, Gucci, Fendi, oh, boring lah. <laughs> let's talk about some other brands that I, I don't know what are your opinions on, right? Oh, I don't have a, don't have a, okay. I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think about brands like? Chloe. I'm not a fan. <laughs> you can see it from my face. Chloe. Yeah. What do you guys think about Chloe? I'm not a fan because it doesn't jive with my style. They came up with that Chloe, you know, the one that the bag that's like that's a great explanation. The bag's like this. <laughs> this size and it has that ring that it flips over like all the influencers have it and then you could pull it up and put your you know hand through it you know the bag is that the chloe bag the bracelet bag thank you babe thank you yeah i am not a fan of the chloe chloe brand just think that the bags are maybe a bit too I'm just using some random powder. Some, it's too girly. I don't know about the quality. And the bags are very heavy. They are really heavy. Yes, exactly, babe. Before they revamped it to be all this really pretty, fancy stuff, I found that the bags were very heavy. The leather that they use, they say, oh, great quality leather, heavy. No, but nobody's going to carry it. Then there was the other really popular one, the one that everybody had as well. The one where the lock is like a stick that you put through like this. 
the lock bag. <laughs> I'm assuming it's called the lock bag. It's really popular. Like everybody has it. The two chains and the chain is like made of really pretty chain. What is it? Come on, people. You know it. You know the name. Chloe Drew? Is it the Drew bag? Is it the one that everybody had it? Like a lot of people have it. It's very, very pretty. Drew, yeah. Thank you. Chloe Drew, Belle, thank you. It's actually really pretty. My sister-in-law has it. And I, I, of all the Chloe bags, I actually like that one in terms of just the aesthetics. It's, you know, it's got the two hooks. The chain is stunning. But my God, that bag is like, it's like heavy. Where is my, it's like heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny little bag but if it, it felt like it weighed three kilos it's so heavy so i'm not carrying that bag no but it's too girly for me just yeah i don't know i just don't like i don't know i just don't like that brand not my style it's kind of like mew mew you know mew mew paddington remember paddington oh yeah okay katie love yes See, we, we think alike. <laughs> Mew Mew is another brand that needs a revamp. It's Mew, oh, Mew Mew and Prada. See, two brands that need a revamp. Chloe, Chloe doesn't need a revamp. Maybe they need to find a new supplier for their leather because I just, I don't got no muscles to carry their bags. It's so freaking heavy. But yeah, Chloe, I don't know other brands like um, that I don't really, I'm not a fan of. And it's nothing to do with the resale value, you know. Yingling says, I love my Chloe Marsh, Marsh, Marche bag. What is that? What is that? What bag is that? Let me check. Chloe Marche. Hang on. Give me a moment. Chloe Marche. What bag is that? Oh, this is the real old school one. Yeah, this is like the old, old bags. Like, this is throwback. This is really throwback. I have never seen it in real life. Is the, is the opening fussy? How, does you, how do you open this bag? How do you open it? Oh, interesting. Anyway, yeah. Miu Miu was my favorite brand when I was in high school when I didn't have a job. Always wanted the platforms with the cats. Hmm. I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with um, uh, Miu Miu bags, but all I know is it's it's very, it's like a similar aesthetic to Prada, except it's more trendy and pretty. Some of their bags are just overly pretty, and then some of their bags are just you know, Prada kind of style. There's no in-between, you know. I find like a lot of these brands, there are no in-betweens for us to tap on. So with Chanel, okay, we're going back to the big ones, huh? The Chanel and the LV. And even some, what, the Fendi. I feel like there is in-betweens in their whole range. I mean, they have such a wide range, right? So you could find the one really classic, really plain, really interesting, really... You know, this this is a spectrum of things that there's something that somebody will like. Same for Chanel. Everything is pretty, but, you know, they've got pretty, they've got edgy, they've got classic, they've got everything. But some of these other brands, they just have one aesthetic. And it's if you don't like this aesthetic, that's it. You know, you just don't like the brand. So with Prada, I try to go into that brand and I'm, I just look at the aesthetic. It's so, so... I, I've honestly, it's not dark. It's just so, like a cut, you know, like a very, very, um, not, it's not even prim and proper. It's so, so, I feel like it's so dark, you know, it's like if you walk a person, it's like, she's, it, it's, it's like Prada to me, when I, when I see Prada's bags, it feels like it's a, it's like a resting bitch face kind of brand. It's just like, you know, I get that kind of feel when I hear Prada. I hear the word Prada, I look at their bags, it's like resting bitch face. <laughs> that's 
that's how I feel. That's how I feel with Ed with brother. It's so structured, so don't talk to me kind of feel, that kind of vibe that I get. Then Mew Mew is like the more like, woohoo, sister. Yet yeah, she's got a similar kind of, you know, DNA. <laughs> but there's no in between for the brand. And that's why I just find it so difficult to go in. With Chloe is the same. It's pretty, hobo, hipster. Um, you know, me in the in the garden, in the field, jumping with my dress. And I just no, because there's no in between. I try to like any of their bags, I just can't find anything. Oh, Sharon, yes. I thank you for the word. To me, that's Prada. One dimensional. Oh, I can't. I just you need a revamp, you need to do something. And then and then you got the Gucci <laughs> who went, woohoo! <laughs> to the other side. Aaron, I met two clients who worked at Dior the other day. I overheard their conversation. Apparently, they are allowed to give clients a certain percentage discount when you reach a certain spending limit. What? Are you serious? Discounts at Dior? I mean, if they spend that kind of money, they don't really need the discounts anymore. So whatever. Dior is probably saying... I give them some discount. They've already spent enough for my profit. <laughs> Yingling Li is saying, I am waiting to buy the YSL Puffer Lulu. Hmm. What do you guys think about the Puffer Lulu? Comments, please. I am on the fence about that bag. It's I like the puffy puffy net, puffy puffy bag, but it's kind of puffy. <laughs> That's the point, I know. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I I <laughs> Amy's like, I prefer the 19. Yeah. I actually don't really like the Nikki bag. Okay, Jesse. Let me tell you why. Let me see if I have a picture. I actually tried the Nikki bag um, in store and it doesn't hold up very well. Wait, let me show you. I love the I love everything about the Nikki in terms of like it has the space, it's slouchy, it's you know it's got you know it's got the back pocket, the strap, it can wear crossbody, but it doesn't um i think the structure is not really good look let me show you guys this is the nikki bag i don't know why isn't you why aren't you focusing oh look okay see can you guys see that look at this part it's like sagging i think the bag is very the the material is very thin so this part of the bag when i close it i had like quite a lot of stuff inside well not really i just had my phone my wallet a few things but can you see how it's pulling the top is pulling the bottom of the bag not made very well yeah not it but it feels really nice it looks luxe but poorly made bag so it had the things that i like back pocket space uh top handle crossbody it looks understated but I was a bit taken aback when I saw that literally the top flap was pulling the bottom of the bag. And I, when I asked the essay, I was like, is it supposed to be like that? She said, yeah, it's a slouchy look. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not paying thousands of dollars for a slouchy look. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, Jesse says the magnet is so strong and the flat just goes out weirdly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so weird. The oh, let me see if I have a picture of um. Okay, so you can ignore my face. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so this is me with the collage bag. 
it looks big. It's just that the angle I was taking it, but actually it's a much better make. Much better looking, small structured, but I still undecided. Oh, oh we're talking about my black bag. Yeah, I, I kind of like it. You know, I kind of like it. Of course, I do prefer the Chanel 19 bag. Oh, that's such a good bag. But man, why is it so expensive, you know? Chanel has to chill, has to chill with the price increases. And you know, right, in LV, they just they did a price increase about two or three weeks ago, like across the board, a few percent, everything. And I was telling my essay, do you know why they did a price increase across the board? They're trying to recoup money from the Tiffany acquisition. <laughs> How many billions of dollars? Across the board, increase LV price. And that little bit, little bit, little bit, recouping Tiffany's acquisition cost has to be but they didn't do like a crazy price increase like chanel so it's still you know the pinch is like ee, 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 a little bit, little bit. i don't know I, I that's my that's my conspiracy theory <laughs> otherwise it's across the board they didn't even just do it for a little bit of the luxury items they did everything every single thing oh even the pens went up <laughs> it's crazy Oh, oh, let's put some, let's put some eyebrows. Mm, this is my favorite. <laughs> it's almost criminal. Yeah. JJ says, I heard the sac de jour is so heavy when stuffed and it has no zipper. I agree. It is a little bit of a heavier bag. If you buy the smaller version, it doesn't fit enough. So, yeah. Actually, black bags are really hard to find a nice one. But anyway, let's put some eyebrows. People, this is an amazing eyebrow pencil, okay? I'm all, I'm all high-end, okay? I'm all high-end with my makeup. You know, you want, you, this, this, face, this face has seen almost 40 years on the earth. <laughs> it needs some good shit. <laughs> anyway, you don't need expensive ones. But yeah, I got this um, Dior... Dior Show Brow Styler. So good. Oh my gosh, so good. I, I This is like my third... Wait, of all the years, I think this is my second... Maybe my third time I'm buying this. It's so nice to use, okay? It's the, it's the high-end version of the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but I feel it's even better than the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's so good. Let me just put my mirror up a little bit and you can see... I like the pen. It's waxy. It's easy. I don't have to think. Oh, look at that eyebrow. Look at that eyebrow. So good. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me tell you. I have sold some bags. Let me do my eyebrow first. And we'll talk. Eyebrows makes all the difference. Oh. Okay, done. Super fast. It's not like we're going out anywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, we are, we are. We are going to buy some sunblock. Okay. Since my last video, my last... Uh, what video was it? Uh, bags I've sold. Since there's only 56 of you. <laughs> it is. It's sweat and smudge proof. It's so, so good. Like, I, this eyebrow, I'm done. It'll last me until the end of the day. So waxy. So awesome. Um, yeah, since my last handbag bags I've sold, I've already... I've, I've sold my bum bag. I've sold my Chanel. Eh, so it's just... To get excited, don't get excited. <laughs> so my bum bag, I've sold my Prada Cahier bag, and I've sold my Celine box bag.
<laughs> yeah, people, I have sold three bags, mainly to fund some other bag. Can you see the bag? Let me see if you can see the bag. Now, let me tell you why I sold my Celine box bag. I love that bag, but I've used it enough. If you watch my unboxing for the bag, you, you would know why I bought the bag. If you remember, I bought the Celine box bag because it was my tri trial to the Hermes Constant bag. Don't know if you guys remember that. And uh, it is before, because I can't afford the Hermes Constant bag. I'm not sure about the style of the Constant bag, whether it's that boxy shape with the strap and everything. So to me, getting the Celine box bag is a good trial. It's a good, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a way for me to feel whether this is the type of style I like. And I enjoy the Celine box bag. I use, I really use it. You guys have seen me constantly. It's always on my Instagram and, and I use it. Okay, I use it. But there was one thing that I realized from using that bag that I actually don't like. And I think it's not just the Celine box bag. It is the style across the board. And that is accordion style bags. So... You know that I don't like the pochette Matisse because it's accordion style. The Celine is also an accordion style. Even in my unboxings and my, my reviews, I always said that it's kind of challenging to... Once the bag is open, it's kind of challenging to close the bag because you have to, you know, it's, it, it's open like this, right? It's open like that. And then the flap, and you got to kind of like pull it over to close. So that clipping part especially when the bag is full I'm, obviously you have to watch back my older videos it's annoying i mean i you gotta get used to it you gotta get used to that whole you know when you're carrying it across your body and then when you open the top flap because it's accordion style it opens like like this right it open wide and you got three compartments for the celine bag and if i got a lot of things even though it doesn't fall out i have to use a bit of my hip press it in and close and I realized that that is a style that I don't like. I don't like accordion style bags. It is very inconvenient um, to, especially if you've got other things to carry. Like in Singapore, I don't have a car, you know, so I'm always on the train and I've got my backpack, I've got my bag, I've got holding my shoe bag and all that. So having something that is not very convenient to open like this is problem which is probably why i love my gabrielle bag my gabrielle bag is a top zip so it doesn't have that whole you know open and figure out how to close yeah it was fussy but it wasn't so much of like oh my god i hate it so much you know what oh, is so irritating no i actually kind of live with it you know it's like yeah okay fine you know you just have to figure it out you just have to you know, manage the situation because it's an accordion style bag. But it made me realize that I am not a fan of this design. I'm, I'm not a fan of accordion style bags. So moving forward, I won't buy any more accordion style bags. It just, it's just a design that doesn't suit my lifestyle at the moment. So which is why I feel is also why I don't like the Porsche Matisse. It's the same accordion style opening and then you got to open and close and it's just very fussy. So I sold my Celine box bag. Not me. One of the reasons is that it's just like, ah, oh, okay, I've, I've used it enough to realize that maybe the constants is not such a good idea for me. And, you know, I'm moving on from the bag. It's not that I don't like the bag. I, I do like it, you know. I've used it enough. Moving on. Moving on to styles that work for my lifestyle right now. So I sold that. My product here is another one, which is very similar. You open it like that as well. So I also sold that. So my whole, all my bags right now, I have no more of this accordion style bags. I'm trying to think, do I have any more? No. And most is just a flap, single opening flap. Yeah. So yeah, I, I just, it doesn't work with my lifestyle. My lifestyle, 
single flap is still okay or best zip 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 top zip is the best which is why i need my gabrielle back back <laughs> i need it back it's 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 the most convenient like top zip zip throw everything inside take it out no fussiness it doesn't expand bigger from your body double flat classic oh i love but so expensive now yeah, I, I really, I really need my Gabrielle bag back. I need it. It's... Uh, Natasha says, uh, yeah, you can't bring much stuff with the box, even though it fits a lot. You can't close it easily. Yeah, so that was my... It, it, how do you say it? You know, with some bags, you love it a lot. You just live with the little bit of inconvenience. That's how I felt with the Celine box bag. It is my trial to buy the Constance. But I, this was something that I was like, oh, what is this? Why is it so inconvenient? It's, it's like, let me just sit up a little bit. You know, it's like the back opens like this, you know, from your body. And then you're like, you know, use the leg, use the head, push, push, push. So you actually need two hands to close the bag. And if I'm in the train and the MRT, I've got my backpack, I've got my shoe bag, you know, I've got a plastic bag, and I've got this bag that is just opening the mouth to the world like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. So, but I love it. It looks so sleek. So you're, I'm having a handbag identity crisis. <laughs> I love how it looks. I love how much it can fit, though it's hard to close. I have all these little things and use after using it for two years. Was it two years? Has it been two years? Almost two years. Oh, wait, more than two years. You know, I've I've had I've given the bag a fair shot, used it, loved it, enjoyed it, but I'm moving on from that style. <laughs> you know, just some things that you just, no matter what, it just bugs me. So, with the funds, which is not a lot because you know Celine is a bag that doesn't retain the value, a little bit of funds. Uh, we are in the market. For the Gabrielle bag. We're like, mm, 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 mm. Gabrielle bag? Ooh, Gabrielle bag. <laughs> now that they have the new size, right? The Lady Dior is definitely on my list, but I feel like I need to buy it overseas. I just, it's so expensive in Singapore. Okay, babe, Shala, it is so expensive. The bag that I want, ooh, 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 ooh. Did I show the picture the other time? Can't remember. I can't remember. Let me check. By the way, guys, I don't really know how long is the YouTube live stream supposed to be. Like, like Instagram live stream, after one hour, they cut you off. <laughs> They're like, get out of the live stream. So for YouTube, we're hitting the one hour, 45 minutes. I'm not sure. Maybe it could be a two hour mark. We'll see. If it cuts off, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. All right. Let me see. Yeah. Uh. I don't know if I have a picture. But anyway, I already know. I already know which Lady Dior I'm going to get. I'm not telling you. <laughs> Gabrielle bag. What color? What style? What size? Okay. I'll tell you what which Gabrielle I'm going to get. I'm going to get black. The black Gabrielle bag. Because that's the only one that doesn't show the crinkles on the, on the Gabrielle bag. The reason I sold my beige, beige and black Gabrielle bag, not because I don't love it. it. That is why I'm still haunted by the memory of that bag. I'm waiting to get it back. It's because the beige on the Gabrielle bag, because the Gabrielle bag is that aged calf skin and the zip part curves like this, it, it tends to get a lot of wear, okay? But I don't really torture my Gabrielle bag. I use it, but it just looked as if I tortured my bag. It looked as if I was squashing it and all that because the top bit of where the crinkle was on the beige looked like old auntie skin, okay? It looked as if it's crinkled like my... It looked like this, okay? <laughs> like my elbow. So crinkled up there and I, I just looked at the bag saying, okay, this is not a good color. It's not the color transfer that I was worried about. It's how bad the bag would look after 
another maybe year of use. So terrible. So go black, okay? Go black. Even Amy told me black is the way to go. So yeah, we are getting the Gabriel back in black. As for the size, I actually enjoyed using the medium because I needed the space. But um, I do wonder whether the medium just doesn't wear so well. So, but there is a new size, right? The like between the medium and the small. Small is a bit too small for me. I I, I thought at first I wanted to get the small, but I've seen it in store. It doesn't doesn't fit enough. Like it's like another mini bag. So now that they have the size in between, yeah, I, I'm really, really considering the new medium, which is why I sold my Celine box. Because when I saw that the new medium came out, I was like, okay, we need money. <laughs> we need money. Reviewing the closet. Love, 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 love you. Irritating accordion style. Love, love you. Irritating accordion style. Love, 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 love. Okay, that's it. You two go. <laughs> and yeah, so I've got a bit of funds. Not the best time to go shopping. Not the best time, people, in this situation. But yeah, the eyes are open to look at that bag. Of course, if they suddenly decide to do a price increase right now, <laughs> I'm not going to be happy. I'm not going to be very happy. Esther is asking, would I ever repurchase the Chanel Trendy CC? What kind of style does it have? <laughs> and that will answer your question. <laughs> it's an accordion style bag. No. It, I realize it's a bag that I the style. Just not. I love the look. It looks like a classy, no, sorry. It looks like a Chanel's version of a Kelly, but that accordion style bag design was also a problem. If you watched my unboxing and I think my review of that bag, you would know you would have seen me standing up, opening and closing that bag a bit, like you know, a bit fussy. Those were the early days when I didn't realize that this is a style that I don't like. I just. Maybe just like, oh, it's, it's a bit hard to close, eh? you know, that kind of thing. Now I know after three bags of the same, you know, layout that I finally realized, okay, no, nope, not good. <laughs> Does not work for Kat and her, you know, running around lifestyle. Oh, by the way, somebody asked me what color, this, this nail polish. I got this at Tokyo Hands as well. I went a little bit crazy at Tokyo Hands buying face masks. Buying face wash, buying orange nail polish. I don't know. I just wanted something crazy. This is just a random purple orange nail polish. I just looked at the tray there. I was like, D -d 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 orange. Take it. It was like five dollars. Like okay. Ooh 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 ooh. Let me use. Oh, let me use this. People, if any of you love makeup, like love eyeshadow. You need to get this. You need to get this. This is the Pat McGrath. Super expensive, super bougie, Divine Rose Eyeshadow Palette. OMG! I waited for this eyeshadow palette for almost half a year. It has been out of stock. Uh long yeah half a year out of stock twice now she's got it back on her website i've linked it down below i mean in the in the this live stream so good so good like and if you ever want to treat yourself to any eyeshadow palette from pat mcgrath don't get any of her other eyeshadow palettes don't bother with the blue don't bother the brown nah. don't just get this one because you actually can it's actually usable you know not we're not like artists Something that I can actually put on my eyeball, eyelids, eyeballs, and get an eyeshadow look. Let's do it right now. Oh my god, so nice, so easy, so easy. I have been enjoying it. It's the one that I put on my vanity right now, and 
it's mauvey, but it's got also like brown tones. I like it. I just wish that she didn't charge an arm and a leg for her eyeshadow palettes. But Michelle Wong, Michelle Wong has a has a discount code for this. I think it's like Michelle 10 or something. And you can get 10% off. Oh, so fancy. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Do you guys still put makeup at home? I mean, if any of you do makeup, you guys can do their hair. I'm still trying to keep up with, we're talking about the situation again. You know, the situation, the current situation that we're all in. <laughs> USS is unavailable. Really? It's coming soon? No, it's sold out again. I'm telling you, this is awesome. This, I thought I linked it down below. Or maybe, maybe it's sold out in the States. Oh my gosh, I love it. See, so easy, okay? I'm not, I'm looking at this, this mirror and it's such a nice eyeshadow palette. Doing it with one hand, like, oh gosh, terrible. Some eyeliner and we're good to go. <laughs> Where are we going? Nowhere. What are we doing? Nothing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> gosh, I love it. And then it is like the shiny, shiny colors. To be honest, I don't know how to really get like the full pigmentation of all these colors. Like some people like spray it with Fix Plus, add some, you know, wet your brush. I'm like, uh, okay, finger. <laughs> um, Queenie's going to cut your own hair. Don't do it, babe. Don't do it. Look at me. My hair is crazy looking let me just take off my hairband like oh my goodness it's getting long huh look at that and it's yellow got like yellow oh it's awful my hairdresser is gonna laugh at me when he sees me in a month he'd be like oh girl happened to you <laughs> Do you think I should keep long hair, guys? Stop it, cat. Stop saying guys. Do you think I should keep long hair again? I don't know. What do, you, what do you all think? Oh, bye, Deborah. Bye bye. Bye bye. We'll see you. We'll see you again next week, next Sunday, same time. I don't know. I, I feel okay. Why don't we use orange? Let's use orange today. Oh. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Oh, I love it. I have not used a palette for so long that every single color I really enjoy. If you want to get this, I have a link below. Like really, click that link. It's directly to her website. Or just go to her website. Type Pat McGrath in Google and it'll bring you to the website. Freaking good, okay. Oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. See, orange. It's pretty. <laughs> All dressed up and nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Feel pretty. Do you, are you still making, are, are, you, are you still, you know, making the effort to put on a face? I feel like it lifts up the mood. Like yesterday, I was uh, doing a few things and I was sitting around the house feeling super sorry for myself. Just like, I'm so bored. Sitting on this couch, just like t totally looking terrible. And I was just scrolling through my phone, feeling really sorry for myself. And I told myself, no, I got to prop up myself. And I went to, oh, it's not available in the US. I think maybe it's only in Asia. It could be. Mm. Wait for it. It'll come. It'll come. It's so good. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. I was feeling super sorry for myself. And I'm feeling like, not sorry. Just like feeling really, I don't know, slobbish. Like wasting the time, killing the time. And I decided to go into my room, do a little bit of makeup. Just, you know, 
prepped myself up and I felt so much better. I just felt like, it's not that I need makeup to feel good, but it just lifts up the mood. Just feel like you're doing something for yourself. So yeah, even though I'm working at home now, I am trying to put on clothes, look a bit presentable. I'm, I might do something later, so wearing this. But otherwise, I'll put on a nice top you know, wear something nice, put a bit of face, do my face mask and get on with the day because, you know, the time flies. So funny. A girl was talking to me last week and she said that, didn't we talk last week? I said, no, man. We talked two weeks ago. Time flies when you are at home. Like the hours just like this, okay? Sarah says, doing my makeup every morning gives me a sense of normalcy. Yeah, for me, what gives me a sense of normalcy? Kind of makeup, skincare a little bit. Sarah May says, no, this is a good chance for my skin to rest. Have been putting makeup every day. Okay, yeah, so maybe now it's like you put... um skincare right you can do relax I, I don't put makeup all the time i just feel like i need to do a little bit of something for myself so nice right i love it i love it so i can i can get a i this eyeshadow palette gives me you know a mauve eyeshadow look it can give me a brown eyeshadow look it can give me an orange eyeshadow look just feel it's so versatile i'm so glad i got it <laughs> Six months again, I was waiting for it for six months, five to six months. Let's put on some blush. <laughs> this is the, I got this while I was in America. Charlotte Tilbury's Chic, Chic to Chic Swish and Glow Blusher in Pillow Talk. It was some pop, really popular eyeshadow. Uh, blush it's like weird looking pattern Hang on, let me just move down okay let's do a bit of that let's get a brush Woo! <laughs> it's kind of nice all made up and nowhere to go do, do, do. Okay, I think it clashed. I think it clashed with the eyeshadow because this is very pinky. Yes, it's really nice. Pillow top blush. Uh, yeah, pillow top blush. So nice. It's very mauve and it's a little bit of brown to it. It's very pretty. Let me show you. Nice. I like to like just all the way inside. Don't really bother where I go. Kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. Blowing my own horn. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> Who's coming on Wednesday? Who's joining on Wednesday's live stream? We are having Japanese food. Hey, look. We didn't get kicked out by YouTube. I thought YouTube would kick us out after two hours because the other day I was doing an IG live stream. After one hour, Instagram said, Get the hell out. One hour maximum live stream. But this is a YouTube's live stream. And we're going on strong, people. It's two hours. <laughs> what? Oh, look at this blush. Seriously. I think Sephora Singapore has it. But I got this in Sephora US. So nice. And one of my favorite. It was sold out also. Another sold out item. And I'm using it so sparingly. I'm like, I'm like this. I'm like, <laughs> Ooh, oh, so nice. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, me, Amy's like, <gasps> 3 a.m. Okay. Dang. It's all right, babe. We are going to do a 6 p.m. Singapore time happy hour live stream. We are going to do uh, Japanese. Oh, oh, oh. Let me show you what I've already prepared for my alcohol. <laughs> the 
Does this count? <laughs> Does this count as alcohol? Joya, I bought that. Yeah, JJ SK two three D mask. That stuff is bougie. Okay. <laughs> This count, Joya. Joya counts, right? I know it's re not really high in content. Let me see. Let me see how many percent. How many percent does this have? It's 15% alcohol, people. No joke, you know. What? <laughs> let me read. Let me, let me read this. You may shoot. The added fruit is called ume in Japanese. The organic acid of ume balances the beautiful taste of joya. Joya will satisfy your taste buds to the last drop. Right there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. 15%, you know, don't play. Even these fruits have been have been, you know, fermenting inside this alcohol for. God knows how long. This is what I'm having on Wednesday, 6 p.m. I'm going to find some Japanese food as well. It can always be, you know, Nissin noodles. May says, I love the plum, but not the drink. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Drink it. Kenla, Sulin, yes. Kenla. The reason is, I can't find sake. I went to Fair Price to look for sake, but all their sake just looked a little dodgy, like the, the, the low end, really bad sake, the kind that you know will burn your your throat as you drink it and like kill all the virus. Burn, 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 burn. So <laughs> I decided to go for Joya. But if I can find sake, like really good ones, we'll have that on Wednesday. Maybe today I'll go and look. But for food. I don't know. Maybe I'll go and find some sushi if... Hmm. Winnie says it's 6 a.m. Oh. Yeah, it's too early. I know, I know. It's, it's happy hour in Singapore. While you guys are still waking up, we're all... <laughs> Tennessee. Is that Tennessee? TN stands for Tennessee. Huh. Anyway, yes, yeah, so that's on Wednesday. And then what are we doing? And then we'll do another Sunday, of course. You know, we'll just come up with more topics to talk about. We were talking about what just now? Oh my gosh. Off the highway. <laughs> oh, oh, Chloe, accordion style Chloe. And oh, what was I talking about? Oran? Oh, have I, have I talked about my Oran sandals yet? Have I? I can't remember. Did I say anything about Oran sandals? <laughs> my husband is here. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. So, you guys know that I... Oh, Slap me every time. Slap me every time. I say it with you guys. I really hate saying it. Such a bad habit. Y'all, 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 all right? The Oran sandals, I it, I have, I just feel my get ready. You know, I feel my March favorites. Actually, the Oran sandals. So, talk about the pros. Somebody said that I need to break in the leather. That you need to like wear it for a while and then you will break, you know, you will just break in. Like you the leather needs to be softened. I didn't actually experience that. The first day I wore it, it felt very, very comfortable. Makes my feet look super slim and very, you know, very girly. It's actually really nice. But people, it is so freaking slippery. I have worn it every single day since. I bought it like every single day. Yeah. So ever since every single day since I revealed it. So it's been almost three weeks. It is so slippery. I don't know if there were any other reviews out there. Um, 
yeah, I don't know if there's any other reviews out there that talked about how slippery these shoes are, but nobody ever, I've never heard of anybody say Oran sandals are slippery. The bottom of the sole is so smooth. I've been walking around with them every single day and they have not gotten more rough. Like, I'm still slipping and sliding as I walk. In fact, I'm actually really even like using my core muscles, like walking, 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 because I'm so scared I slip and fall. Dang. Yeah, I, I almost fell. That's right, Jesse. I, I came out of a taxi like last week. And the moment I stepped, like took two steps out, the next two steps, I literally went like this. The floor was not wet. It was just normal tiled floors. But the slippers are just, doesn't have any grip on the bottom. And I know a lot of people said, you know, oh, you need to get anti-slip stuck on it. That's ridiculous. I didn't pay so much money for a pair of slippers to add more money on my pair of slippers. Like, no. Yeah, so, yeah, but still, they're slippery. Anyway, I was just wondering if anybody felt the same. If any of you have the shoes, Sell? No, I kind of like them. I kind of like them. You know, I mean, I feel like they're really pretty and they're very comfortable, like around the like the foot. It's comfortable. I mean, yeah, I'm enjoying them, but I just wish it wasn't so slippery. So not a fan of that. I just, now I need to go and get something st stuck at the bottom so that I won't fall down. <laughs> but I was kind of surprised nobody said that these are slippery shoes. I will, I will. I'm Since I'm going out today to get my sunblock, I'm going to bring those slippers along with me. Somebody, I don't Ivy from last week said that I can, yeah, resole the bottom of the shoe. Just wish it didn't have to be done. You know what I mean? Like, now I have to do another thing for the shoe because I just wanted to wear them as it is. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's slippery. Oh. Mm. So now I know. So if any of you are thinking about getting the Hermes Oran sandals, which I think they are very pretty, you know, now that I've used them and worn them, they go with my shorts, they go with my dress, they go with my pants. You know, they, they look, you know, they look nice. And because they're such a slim cut, they actually make your feet look very slim. Like I have quite broad, the front part of my foot is quite broad. So somehow it curves really nicely and makes your feet just look really long and slim. Kind of very dainty, okay? Very dainty. So if you're looking for that kind of shoe, I think, yeah, it's a good buy. But please get them re before you use it because you don't want to be falling because it's not like you're like walking like that. <laughs> That's how I walk, okay? I'm like... <laughs> not attractive at all, okay? <laughs> Oh, so funny. Jessie's asking, would you get the mule version? I think they're cute. So the mule version has a little bit of the heel, right? Considering, considering. Winnie, you just got the front row sneakers. Oh my gosh, I really wanted a pair. But oh, it's pretty expensive. You got to have a fashion file. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I didn't know you can buy. Yeah, never. I don't really go on fashion file. Let's take a look. Uh. But they're new. Pre-loved and new. Wow. So somebody probably bought them, didn't like them. Awesome. Congrats. Congrats. So yeah, I kind of like the Oran sandals. I think they're very pretty, but slippery. <laughs> My... If I ever get, like, another pair, I'm thinking, you know, maybe next year or maybe, you know, if if I feel like it, I don't mind getting the white pair. I think the white pairs will look even prettier. Make sure this time when I get the white pair, I will spray some kind of protectant on the white leather. And also, before I wear them, get them resold. Yeah. 
because you know, keep it pristine and also walk properly in them. But apparently the Oran sandals, you have to know what type to get. Like they have so many different materials. Some is cloth, some is the harder calf leather. Some of them have different, you know, metallic and all. Each different type of Oran sandals would mean the leather um, will take time to break in. So the best is to get the smooth calf leather, which I think it's only the three colors, white, black, and the gold. The rest, you have to check. Otherwise, th there are people who say they're very uncomfortable. It's because the leather is very hard. For me, the gold was, that's right, very, very comfortable. Oh, 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, I made up. Okay. I'm going to put my lipstick and then calling it a day. Also something that I really like. So hydrating. Art like. Are people still wearing those pair of shoes? The LV art like sandals, uh, the sneakers. I know a lot of people were buying it at the start. It's like me and my Balenciaga triple S's. <laughs> no, this is not an Hermes lipstick. This is. Shanta Kai's Lip Chic in Honeysuckle. My favorite. Okay, I have, been, I have been seriously... I don't really get through lipsticks very fast, but this is one that I have been really, really using. So nice, so comfortable. I'm sure a lot of you... I'm sure all of you here watch the... Um, my haul, right? So I'm supposed to... Yeah, anyway. If you watch the whole video... You gotta watch the whole video. <laughs> Just look out for Friday, okay? This coming coming Friday. Sarah says, Divine Rose is in stock in Selfridges. Yes! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> so good. I, I really enjoy it. Look, 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 it's really pretty. No effort, okay? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And I just need some eyeliner. I'm pretty I'm ready to go out. Ready to rule the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was saying, anybody still buying those art-like shoes? I think the sneaker trend is a bit... Yeah, I, I didn't like the art-like LV shoes. But I do have the Balenciaga Triple S's. Those... Dad sneakers that are like so big. I love them. <laughs> they are so out there. So not a pair of shoes that a lot of people like, but I got them and I I like them. <laughs> Haven't been able to wear them yet because, you know, weekends I don't go out. But, you know, they are really, really nice. Mm, I love this lipstick. This lipstick is so comfortable. Shantakai makes some really good formulas. This is made in Italy. Honeysuckle. All right, guys. Let's finish up another maybe couple of minutes. And I will see you all on um, Wednesday if you are coming or next Sunday. What shall we do next Sunday? Let's get some ideas. What shall we do next Sunday? What theme shall we do? So we did... Makeup today, get ready. I started from no face, just a wash face, to mask, and now I've got makeup on. Actually, it was kind of fun. It's kind of fun. We should do it again. Maybe we should do it again on Sunday. We can do another mask on Sunday. We'll do a different kind of look. No, 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 no different look, but same look, but we could just get ready together or get unready together. Do a closet clean out. Eh, my closet is so messy. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll do something different. I don't know. Um, gonna have breakfast again. But there's nothing to eat, you know. There's nothing to eat around Singapore now. Everything is closed. Closing. Can only order takeout. 
We'll see. Might do another makeup session. We can do it together. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's end today. And I will set up another countdown on my Instagram. So I hope you follow me next Friday. Please do look out for a video. A little surprise, surprise video. Um, maybe I'll just do it on a live stream, you know? Only the only the OGs follow me on live stream. <laughs> All right, guys. Everybody, it was really fun. Two hours and 20 minutes is our record. Record live stream, okay? <laughs> so fun. So silly. You know, it feels like what? It feels like... We are having a live chat with everybody, you know, like those olden days. Everybody's just chatting, 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 chatting on, on the computer, just sitting there chatting with each other. It feels like that. And it's, it's fun, right? It's fun. Even though I'm here talking to myself, housemate ran out of the house because he thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> but it's fun because everybody's talking to each other. We all like having this group of, you know, 40, 50 of us. It's fun. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. And yes, ICQ. Oh my, Amy, ICQ, huh? <laughs> Those were the days. Those were the days. All right. All right, people. Thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you on Wednesday or next Sunday. Bye.